Good morning, saints. The aliens are coming. The aliens are coming. <laughs> Although we've never seen one and never will, but the Pentagon finally admits it's investigating UFOs. Written by Stephen Greenstreet from the New York Post. The U.S. Navy drafting new guidelines for reporting UFO videos. The U.S. Navy is drafting those new guidelines to report UFOs. Oh, my gracious. It, it needs to draft these for pilots and, and employees to report encounters with unidentified aircraft. The Pentagon has it, finally uttered the words it, it always avoided when discussing the possibility of UFOs. Unidentified aerial phenomenon and admits it's still investigating reports of them. Oh my god, the aliens are coming! In a statement provided exclusively to the Post, a Department of Defense spokesperson said a secret government initiative called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program did pursue research and investigation into unidentified aerial phenomenon. And while the DOD said it shut down the AAPIT or TIP in 2012, spokesperson Christopher Sherwood acknowledged that the department still investigates claimed sightings of alien spacecraft. The Department of Defense is always concerned about maintaining positive identification of all aircraft in our operating environment, as well as identifying any foreign capability that may be a threat to the homeland. That's what Sherwood said. The department will continue to investigate through normal procedures. <laughs> Reports of unidentified aircraft encountered by U.S. military aviators in order to ensure defense of the homeland and protection against strategic surprise by our nation's adversaries. <clears throat> this uh, recent article that uh, came out. <laughs> uh, let me continue. Nick Pope, who secretly investigated UFOs for the British government during the 1990s, called the DOD's comments a bombshell revelation. Poor Pope is a former UK defense official turned author. What a surprise. He's selling books. Previous official statements were ambiguous and left the door open to the possibility that the AAPI TIP was simply concerned with next generation aviation threats from aircraft, missiles, and drones, as skeptics claim. This new admission, what admission, makes it clear that they really did study what the public would call UFOs. They studied it. They studied nothing. Okay. Yeah, article continues. It also shows the British influence because UAP was the term we used in the Ministry of Defense to get away from the pop culture baggage that came with the term UFO. <laughs> He's got a website called The Black Vault. It archives declassified government documents on UFO reports, Bigfoot sightings, and other subjects. Also called the Pentagon's use of the term unidentified aerial phenomenon unprecedented in its frankness. In quotes, I'm shocked they said it that way. And the reason is, is they've seemingly worked very hard not to say that. So I think that's a very powerful statement. Because now we have actual evidence, official evidence. That is, yes, AATIP did deal with UAP cases, phenomenon, video, photos, whatever, end quote. Greenwald said he hopes that the Pentagon will release more information about AATIP either by voluntary disclosure or through requests under the Federal Freedom of Information Act. In quotes. But at least we're one step closer to the truth. In quote. The existence of the AATIP was revealed in 2017 along with a 33 second 33 second DOD video that shows an airborne object being chased by two Navy jets off the coast of San Diego in 2004. <laughs> At the time, former 
Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada took credit for arranging $22 million in annual funding for the AATIP, telling the New York Times that this was one of the good things I did in my congressional service. Harry Reid, home state of Nevada, hosts the top secret military installation known as Area 51, long rumored to be the storehouse for an alien craft that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Okay, Saints, there are no UFOs. There's no outer space. There's no rocket ship floating above your head. I know you guys know that. In the unlikely event that this message would get out to some of the dum-dums who still believe in NASA and all that nonsense. Just think about it. Seriously, think about it. You believe in something that no one has ever seen. That's enough. Peace, love, fisherman. Oh.